Hi, this is Chef Jamie Smith of Foodsmith and MyFoodsmith.com. And as promised on my radio show over the past several years, I'm finally going to show you my technique uh, for butchering a turkey in advance of cooking it uh, to make Thanksgiving Day prep, cooking, and cleanup a whole lot easier and your turkey much more tender, juicy, and delicious. So let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is, um, we have about a 12 pound uh, organic free range turkey here. And the first thing we're gonna do is with a, a fillet knife or a, a boning knife if you have one, uh, is cut the skin between the thigh and the breast on both sides, just like that. And then we're gonna take a, a big chef's knife. We're gonna remove the top wing by cutting right through the joint. We'll save this to make the gravy. We'll do that on the other side. And using the, the boning knife again, we're gonna reach in, make a quick cut here, and pop out the wishbone. It's always good to save the wishbone so that the kids can make a wish for the future. Something we could all uh, use a little bit of these days. Now we're gonna remove the breasts. Uh, this turkey has been brined. I brined it for about four hours, and then I let it dry uncovered uh, in the refrigerator for about an hour. So I took it out now, and we're gonna carve it. What we're gonna do is basically the same as if we're butchering a chicken, carve right down the center. The breastplate is right here. I'm carving down the middle and using my fillet knife just to slide along the breastplate like so. We'll carve away the skin because we want that so we can roast it and make it super yummy. And then we're going to carve off and we'll use our carp our boning knife. And there, we've got one breast completely removed and ready to cook. Now we'll do the second one. Now we'll finish the second breast, put it right there. And now we're gonna bone out the thighs. Turn the, the turkey this way. And one of the most important things about boning out the thigh is, you remember we've already cut that skin. Back here is what's known as the oyster. It's probably one of the most tender and delicious and often commonly known as the chef's cut. My dad knows the secret of the oyster. Then we're gonna flip it over and actually just pull the thigh bone right out of its socket and using the bone as a guide, slide the leg and the thigh right off the carcass. And we'll do the same thing with the second thigh. Letting the weight of the, the carcass kind of help you pull away the leg and the thigh. And now we've got both of those. Now we have a carcass here that we can make a wonderful turkey stock with along with the, the wing tips and the wings themselves. And with this broth that we'll make, we'll make some of the best gravy you've ever had. Okay, so I've placed the two breasts that we boned out on their platter in the refrigerator uncovered to allow the skin to dry out a little bit so that when we sear it in a pan, it's gonna get a lot crispier. And now we're gonna bone out the legs, meaning we're gonna take out the thigh bone and the, the leg bone, keep the meat in the skin, and what we're gonna actually do is fill them with a sausage, fennel, and apple uh, stuffing, but it's only a force meat, it doesn't have bread in it. Um, and then we're gonna roll it up and, and tie it off. So it's gonna become like a, a, a bone rolled out thigh uh, that will roast separately, and it'll be some of the best dark meat you've ever had. So to get started, we're gonna cut on either side of the thigh bone, right down the middle, and then we'll slide our knife on either side of it. And we reach underneath like that, pinch with your fingers, and then slide your knife under and just pop that bone out. Then we literally just using our knife, scrape down until you get to the knee and we'll just go around that, and then we're gonna cut right down the center of the leg, just like that. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna cut down on either side, just like so. Slide the knife under the bottom of the bone, and we'll cut through. It has some sinews, but we'll cook it nice and slow. And we'll take care of those. And then as we slide closer to the, the thigh bone, the kneecap, we can simply cut away and cut right across the top and remove the center bone. We're going to add it to a stock pot that we already have going with all the bones that we already cut out originally. We'll put this right in this pot here. And they're just cooking over low heat with no oil. We're just going to brown them up. And see, now we have the entire thigh and leg section. We're going to set that right here, and then we'll do the second one. 
Okay, so we finished boning out both of the leg and thigh portions of the raw turkey. It's been brined for about four hours. Um, just wanted to make a quick food safety uh, reminder. You notice I'm working in a very clear and open space. That's because I'm going to clean and sanitize this entire uh, area with uh, you know food grade sanitizer uh, when I'm finished because raw poultry, of course, uh, is susceptible to having salmonella. Kind of removed some pieces of sinew, you know, a little piece of the thigh bone and stuff like that that didn't quite come off when I did the butchering. And now, uh, you know, we've got the skin side down. And what we're going to do is we're going to fill it with this uh, force meat that I made. This is a sausage, uh, fennel, apple, uh, onion, parsley, and sage. That's it. Nothing else extra in there. Um, and you could do it. I did it with pork. You know, I like pork. Pork uh, tastes really good. But if you want to do it without pork, you could do a raw uh, bulk uh, chicken or turkey Italian sausage. Um, and just mix them with, uh, you know, some diced up amounts of those veggies and the, the apples. And we're just going to lay it right down in the center and kind of press it onto the inside of the meat. This is what's known as a force meat or a farce. And uh, not like the farce like we've been telling in politics these days, but uh, in French cooking we call it a farce or force meat. And uh, it's just going to cook right inside. It's a stuffing that we're going to cook all the way through because it is made of raw pork. We're simply going to roll this up like a big burrito, and then we're going to tie it off. So you're basically going to make like this log like this. We'll take a big piece of butcher twine. And to do the first one, we slide underneath all the way to the end. And just keep tucking the skin under because the skin is what we're going to crisp up and make it super delicious. One, two. Down, we'll tie that off. Then, this is kind of cool. The next trick, hook it under your middle finger, slide about an inch past the other, keeping your hook in there, thread through, pull the loose side, straighten it up, pull that medium tight, same thing, under, about an inch apart, that'll keep the force meat in and keep it with a nice consistent shape for even cooking. That's what really makes this technique uh, great because you can cook the breast meat and the thigh meat um, exactly perfect instead of you know the thigh being uh, a little bit raw while your breast is already cooked on a whole bird because it'll kind of dry out. And then we have one more end to tie off. Run down, roll it over, run down the other end, we'll tie it to the loose end on the other side. Look at that economy. I had about a quarter inch of string to spare. That's it. We've got the first one, and now we'll do the second one. And so we finished uh, stuffing and tying up the second leg and thigh. A little extra spring this time, so we'll get rid of that. And same thing, we're going to put these in the uh, in the fridge uncovered for the skin to, to dry out a little bit because that leads to a, a nicer, uh, richer sear and uh, browning and crispy skin, which is what everybody likes, or at least I do. And now, thanks to the magic of uh, made at home, made for TV, because, you know, COVID, uh, I've gone ahead and taken out the breasts uh, while we were gone. I threw a cast iron pan or a skillet in my oven that I heated up to 375 degrees. And uh, that was while we were rolling up the thighs and I let them sit fast forward to Thanksgiving day. This is how easy it is. I seared the breasts in a little bit of olive oil in the, in the cast iron skillet, placed them on a bed of uh, carrots, garlic, uh, onions, and celery, uh, just in a Pyrex dish. You can put them in a larger roasting pan. This was a very small turkey just for uh, demonstration purposes. But if you did a big one, you obviously could use a larger roasting pan. And we're going to actually just keep the, the breasts in the, uh, in the skillet itself. And this is what we're going to make some of the gravy in um, after we've made our stock. All the bones are now in the oven in a large uh, roasting pan that will then go into a stock pot to make, uh, make a nice gravy uh, out of the broth. It's great to have a rich turkey broth instead of just using water or canned. I don't even know what that stuff is. The stuff in the, the cover that sits in there for two years until you pull it out and use it for uh, Thanksgiving. But all we have to do now, this is Thanksgiving Day, all we're going to do is throw these breasts right in the oven, along with the thighs. When the breasts are done, they can come out and rest. And the thighs, if they have to cook a little bit longer, that's great because both of them are going to come out unbelievably juicy and delicious. So let's get them in the oven. 
All right, so now we're just taking our turkeys out of the oven. I say turkeys because we cooked uh, two turkeys two separate ways. One, traditional uh, Aunt Joan style, which is a whole roasted turkey covered in bacon. Everything's better with bacon. Um, and it, uh, it cooked for about two and a half hours. We tested the uh, temperature on the thigh, 165 degrees. We got that, so it's fully cooked, ready to go. Um, and we covered it with the same tinted tin foil and we let it rest for about 45 minutes. The breasts and the thighs that we stuffed, remember we stuffed those thighs, here they are. And we did those in our cast iron skillet. And um, those are the ones that we stuffed with sausage and they're ready to go. Next thing we're gonna do is we'll let these rest as well. So we're gonna take the thighs out of the pan and the breasts. We'll set them on this plate here. And we're gonna cover them up with tin foil. Uh, just keep them warm. You can put them on the, on the stove top if you want, uh, as long as it's not hot still. Um, and just let them sit there. And it's best to let them rest probably 20, 30, 40 minutes uh, before you carve them, which is a good thing because it gives you time to get everything else set up. And when it's time to carve the bird, uh, you know, all your other stuff is gonna be ready. We're gonna use this pan um, to make the gravy but we're gonna show how to make the gravy another time. Right now we're gonna focus on how to carve. So now that we have both of our turkeys done, the one that we cooked whole, and Joan style, I've removed the bacon. I'm gonna chop up the bacon and cook it in my green beans, because bacon's good with everything. And the deconstructed chicken, Jamie style, the one where we stuffed the thighs and boned out the breasts and cooked them both separate. But I'm gonna show you a great way to actually carve a whole turkey, because um, one of the weaknesses of carving a turkey on the bone is that when you're carving this way, you're carving with the grain, meaning that you're carving along the same way that the grain of the muscle is. Um, if you remember what we did when we butchered the turkey raw, we're going to do the same thing to this whole turkey uh, that we've already cooked. We're going to remove the breast uh, from the from the, the breastplate, and what that will do is make it incredibly easy to slice the whole bird. And what, what is really great about this is that it stays warm. If you've ever watched, you know, whoever's carving the turkey, it takes them 15, 20 minutes. They're carving against the grain, all the juices run out, and then it's not even warm. What's great about carving this, so this is the entire breast. We've taken the whole breast off. Sure, I missed some, but we can get it bad. I mean, that's gonna be turkey sandwiches tomorrow. That's easy money. So we've taken that breast right off, and we can do the same thing with the thigh, because everybody loves the dark meat. The great way, the great thing about this is that the chef gets the oyster, which is back here underneath the thigh. It is the best piece there is. Yes, I'm gonna eat this. Oh, truly the best. Same technique, pull the, the thigh back, and cut it right off. All right, so now we have, from the whole roast turkey, a fully boned out thigh, and a still on the bone leg and uh, thigh, sorry, the boned out breast, and then we have the same thing here. Here's what makes this so awesome and so easy. We're gonna stick that right there. Here's our boned out breast from the one that we cooked from scratch, uh, from raw, and then here's the thigh that we stuffed with the, we're just gonna cut through here and cut all the string right off. Off comes the string. And this is how this becomes the quickest carve you'll ever see in a turkey. And it's zero waste. Everybody gets exactly what they want. If you like dark meat, this is gonna be the best dark meat you've ever had. And if you like white meat, you're actually gonna get it juicy and still warm, which is one of the, you know, the toughest things to do when you're carving a whole bird, when you have 20 or 30 people standing in line. So here we go with the thigh. This is the one that we stuffed. They just cut slices. And look at that. I mean, just stuffed with a sausage. So divine. Let's stick that one there. And the same with the breast you're cutting with the grain so that the juices will not run out. It's incredibly 
juicy, super tender because it's going against the grain. And you can cut the whole breast in, what, a minute and a half? So you can have everybody ready to go through the, the line and get their food um, in a matter of minutes as opposed to 15, 20 minutes, everybody's waiting, waiting, waiting. Same thing, this is the one we cooked whole. We're just gonna cut right through. Ah, oh, so juicy and divine. And then with the thigh, what we'll do is we cut right through, right there, and we can quickly and easily remove the thigh bone. Whoops, a little piece bounced right off me. That goes in the broth. And then the same thing with this thigh. This is the one that we cooked right on the bone. Cut across the grain and it's gonna be so much more tender and juicy. And there you have it. The easiest way to cook and carve a turkey and do it in style.